An update on a story we brought you about an autistic boy who was found running back and forth across Interstate 70. The boy's mother says that scary experience has actually helped her and her son. Special contributor Natasha Williams is live now to explain. Imagine your 10 year old gets out of your house and you couldn't find him anywhere. Then imagine one more thing. That boy has autism. That was a Huber Heights mom's nightmare back in May. And now she says the experience may have been all for the good. 10 year old Justin is as full of energy as ever. He's still been a handful. Things have been so very hectic, but um, we have a lot of support from the community and a lot of my friends have chipped in to try to help. Justin is always on the go. He must be watched constantly. He was born with autism and back in May, he was found here on the eastbound lanes of I-70. He was running, dashing and darting through rush hour traffic after sneaking out of a door accidentally left unlocked in his Huber Heights home. He walked about a quarter of a mile to an area behind his apartment complex, down a hill and directly onto the highway. Say hi. You can hold it. Can you hold it? An extra lock, a chain up high and an alarm are some of the steps Sippel still has in place to keep Justin safe, but she has even added more safeguards, additional locks. But she is happiest about another tool she's getting next month. We are getting him a, a GPS device actually in August. Mm -hmm. So, so happy about that. Mom Teresa Sipple says the frightening incident back in May may have actually been a blessing in disguise. It was so heartbreaking and scary at, at you know the time that it happened and everything. But like I said before, God works in mysterious ways and I, he's finally getting the help that he desperately needs. And even more good news, Justin is finally getting to see an autism specialist next month, too. Mom is hoping maybe, just maybe, he'll be able to find some meds that will actually help her child.